Hey guys, do you get excited every time a box arrives at your front door? If so, this video is where I get to share my excitement in unboxing all the new shoes I'll be processing for my business and I'll be talking about my thoughts during each reveal. I hope you enjoy. All right, these are some vintage cowboy boots that I decided to purchase because I really like the color and I know that crocodile leather is pretty expensive. I also know some people really like the look, but unfortunately I was hoping that there'd be some indicator inside where the boots would show if it's genuine croc or just embossed leather print, but I didn't find anything. What do you guys think? These ones I was really excited about because these type of Oxford docks are just an overall sturdy shoe as well as a great seller for me. When I was looking online at them, the photos weren't really clear. So when I got them, I was happy to see that the leather looks pretty repairable. Um, they just look pretty dry, but a good cleaning condition should work really well on them. So these boots are extremely dry. I actually think it's great that we can look at something like this together so that we can understand the various conditions that used shoes have and how we can treat them. For this specific boot, they may have never even been conditioned before, so that's why you see a lot of ashiness as well as a lot of creasing around the toe area. Creasing most often occurs from bending down and creating that crease near your toe area. These can get even worse if it's not properly hydrated. So keep in mind for your leather as well, 
Um, also, they may need a little bit of re-dye, but um, I honestly think they would do perfectly fine with just like a clean and hydration with some conditioner. All right, I really like this model of Doc Martin heels because the pebbled leather on them is so durable. Uh, I've actually sold this mul uh, model multiple times. You can even see how well the leather held up while the boots were worn. These boots will simply need a wipe down condition and outsole cleaning. It looks like they were worn in a dusty place. Would you guys wear something like this? Some people don't like the uh, pebbled leather look. All right, Salvatore Ferragamo is probably one of my favorite luxury brands because they craft some extremely high quality leather goods. These specific shoes are a smooth leather monk strap style and looking at the label, these are definitely a vintage, but still in quite excellent condition. Are you guys familiar with this brand? Okay, so these sandals are way bigger than I thought, but still gonna sell them of course they're like a size men's 13 but it's spring and these are perfect for the season so i think they'll do really well when it comes to their restoration i honestly don't know what i'm gonna do but um you know it, it looks like they have some paint stains on them and i'm not sure how to recolor but we'll see i guess it'll be an experiment all right another pair of ferragamos these ones are newer just by looking at the label. They're also in pretty good condition, but definitely need to be dusted and cleaned off. Something I see a lot with uh, other dress shoes is that people will buy really cheap polish, like the liquid kind that you kind of just rub on, and then they'll use layer upon layer and cake that on onto the leather. But in all reality, the proper way would be to clean off the leather layers that you're putting on and then add that new coat of polish, but th thankfully these ones seem pretty good. All right, another great brand. All Saints is a really high quality designer brand that makes really great shoes and boots, let alone their other pieces. You can see these are really dry and even the leather midsole is beginning to dry out. Also, uh, it has a side zipper, which is super convenient and a great sell point for me. So that's why I picked these up. I think these are going to turn out really good. Um, I'm happy with what they look like in person because sometimes it can be hard to know exactly what you're buying online. Did you guys ever receive something that was like way off from the photos or description? Doc Martin boots. Okay, these are super trendy and these ones are in decent shape, but unfortunately missing one shoelace. But that's okay. I have some spares. Something really important about this pair is that they have a specific kind of scuff that is more of like a condition issue rather than a cleanliness issue. It's not really something that can be wiped off um, because it's more of like a deep scuff, but um, they either have to be re-dyed or repainted or something like that, which can be extra work, but we'll see what we can do. All right, Doc Martens Chelsea boots. I think any Chelsea boot in like a black shiny leather are super classy. I personally own a pair of Thursday Chelsea boots that I really like because they're super easy to throw on and easy to clean as well. Do you guys own a pair of Chelsea boots in different colors or black? Uh, the one that problem that I see with um, the wear when it comes to Chelsea boots is actually the elastic gusset that is on the side that can wear out and sag or it can even come undone but with these specific ones uh, we'll just probably do a wipe down so i think coach is one of my favorite leather bag brands just due to the sheer quality and durability of the leather that they use they're actually really easy to clean up as well have you guys ever owned one before Though sometimes it can be hard to clean like the specific colors, especially tan, but this brown seems to be okay. 
I'm not sure how this one will exactly turn out, but it seems like mainly near the bottom foot post is where the condition is. Alright guys, that's it for my ASMR unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see something like this again, let me know in the comments. Also, if you wanted me to describe a little bit while I opened each item in the next unboxing videos, let me know as well. Can't wait to clean a lot of these with you guys coming up, so I'll see you guys in the next video.